Okay, now in part four, we've got five multiple choice questions. And this is uh, something unusual, but this may happen in actual exam. This has happened a couple of months ago that in part four, they gave multiple choice. Otherwise, according to the test pattern, part four is for one word only. But you never know in part four, they give you multiple choice questions as well. So you should be ready for that. Okay. Now, question number 31. Anita first felt, uh, basically the title is left and right handedness in sport. Left handedness, right handedness. I'm a right handed person. I write with my right hand. In sports also, left handed batsman, right handed batsman. Left handed uh, hockey player, right handed hockey player, like that. So they say left and right handedness in sport. Question number 21, uh, 31. Anita first felt the Matthews article was of value when she realized, underlined she realized, and Matthews article. Now, Anita f felt Matthew's article was valuable when she realized something. So for realize, they might use any other word. Option A. Now see, there are very long options. Now I tell you how to focus if the options are very long. Option A. How it would help her difficulties with left-handedness. Just underline, help her difficulties with left-handedness. Option B. The relevance of connections he made with music. So relevance of connections with music. Relevance of connections with music. Option C, impressive size of his research project. Underline size <coughs> of research. Size of research. Okay, so Anita first felt Matthew's article was of value when she realized uh, it, helped her, uh, uh, it helped her difficulties with left-handedness. Option B, uh, connection with music. And option C, the size of his research. Size means he done research on 2,000 people, 5,000 people. Big research, right? Now let's see what do they say about it. Question number 31. Section 4. You will hear a presentation given by a sports science student on her project on left and right handedness in sport. My topic is handedness whether in different sports it is better to be left or right-sided, or whether a more balanced approach is more successful. I'm left-handed myself, and I actually didn't see any relevance to my own life when I happened to start reading an article by a sports psychologist called Peter Matthews. He spent the first part of the article talking about handedness in music instead of sport, which I have to say almost put me off from reading further. But what I soon became struck by was the sheer volume of both observation and investigation he had done in many different sports, and I felt persuaded that what he had to say would be of real interest. See, volume. Volume means size. For size, they use the word volume. Okay, so please listen to it again. C is the right answer. And by the way, the order in which they spoke, that is, I guess, B, A, B, C. They spoke in the same order. Yeah, let's see. Section 4. You will hear a presentation given by a sports science student on her project on left and right handedness in sport. My topic is handedness, whether in different sports it is better to be left or right sided, or whether a more balanced approach is more successful. I'm left handed myself, and I actually didn't see any relevance to my own life when I happened to start reading an article by a sports psychologist called Peter Matthews. He spent the first part of the article talking about handedness in music instead of sport, which I have to say almost put me off from reading further. Which put me off from reading further means it was all irrelevant, music and sport instead of sports. But what I soon became struck by... When I soon became struck by means she realized... ...was the sheer volume of both observation and investigation... Sheer volume of both observation and investigation. ...and... 
and I felt persuaded that what he had to say would be of real interest. I felt persuaded means I realized what he had to say is actually good. So C is the right answer, impressive size, and for that they use the word sheer volume. Question number 32. Anita feels that the findings on handedness will be of value in. Findings means the results of the research uh, on handedness. Handedness means right-handed or left-handedness. Will be value in. Where will it give the value or benefit? Option A. Helping sports people identify their weakness. So sports people identify their weakness. Option B. Aiding sports people as they plan tactics for each game. So you can underline aiding as they, or you can underline sports people plan tactics for each game. For tactics, they might use the word strategies. Option C, developing suitable training programs. So all three options are about sports people. You can take them as a common factor. Now I play the audio, please listen and answer. I think Matthew's findings will be beneficial, not so much in helping sports people to work on their weaker side, but more that they can help them identify the most suitable strategies to use in a given game. B, absolutely. So she said not identifying their weak areas, but, and then they spoke about B. So B is the right answer, and they did not even discuss option C. Question number 33, Anita feels that most sports coaches, now what is it that most sport coaches do? Know nothing about the influence of handedness. So know nothing, influence of handedness. Option B, focus on the wrong aspects of performance. Focus wrong aspects, performance. And option C, underestimate what science has to offer sports. So underestimate uh, what science offers. So, let's see. Although most trainers know how important handedness is, at present they are rather reluctant to make use of the insights scientists like Matthews can give, which I think is rather short-sighted, because focusing on individual flexibility is only part of the story. They use the word short-sighted, means they don't see the far-reach effects of that. So which option? C. Best. Very good. The order in which they spoke, that is A, uh, C, and B. I'll play it again. Although most trainers know how important handedness is, at present they are rather reluctant to make use of the insights scientists like me. Okay, now option A, they said no, nothing. She said although some sports people, they know. So it means it's not A. Because A means they know nothing. They know it already. Now... Let's move on with C option. Go back a little. Well, most trainers know how important handedness is. At present, they are rather reluctant to make use of the insights scientists like Matthews can give, which I think is rather short-sighted, because focusing on individual flexibility is only part of the story. Okay, question number 34, please. A German study showed... There was greater mixed handedness. Mixed handedness means right handed and left handed equally. Sometimes you use right hand, sometimes left hand. A German study showed there was greater mixed handedness in musicians who. Now, musicians who, let's see, who. A. Started playing instruments in early youth. Early youth means when they were younger. Like, you know, if someone says, I started playing piano when I was four years old. For example, if somebody says, I started playing violin when I was only 10, 10 years age. So option A is starting playing instruments in early youth. Option B, play a string instrument such as violin or violin. So German study showed there was a greater mixed handedness in musicians. Mixed handedness means they use both hands equally. Okay, option C, practice a great deal on their instrument. Those who practice a great deal, like who practice 10 hours a day on piano, they have mixed handedness. Do you understand mixed handedness? Means both hands are equally powerful. You can write with your right hand or left hand, no problem. Now, let's see. Anyway, back to the article. Matthews found a German study which looked at what he called mixed handedness, 
that is, the capacity to use both left and right hands equally. It looked at mixed handedness in 40 musicians on a variety of instruments. Researchers examined a number of variables, for example, type of instrument played, regularity of practice undertaken, and length of time playing instrument, and found the following. Keyboard players had high levels of mixed handedness, whereas string players like cellists and violinists strongly favored one hand. Also, those who started younger were more mixed handed. Those who started younger were more mixed handed. Only this sentence decides. Those who started younger were most mixed handed, that is, started playing instruments in early youth. Before that, all ba ba ba, traps, and all that. Question number 35 Studies on uh, ape behavior show that. You know, apes, uh, they belong to monkey family, right? Uh, studies on ape behavior show that. Apes which always use the same hand to get food are most successful. So, use the same hand, most successful. Now, apes should be in your mind. You should think about apes, right? Uh, use the same hand, most successful. Option B, same proportion of left and right handedness as humans. Means, they use their left and right hand equally. And option C, more apes are left handed than right handed means more apes are left-handed than right-handed. So let's see. Matthews also reports studies of handedness in apes. Apes get a large proportion of their food by fishing ants from anthills. The studies show that apes, like humans, show handedness. Though for them, right and left-handedness is about equal whereas about 85% of humans are right-handed. Studies showed that apes consistently using the same hand fished out 30% more ants than those varying between the two. So, C is not even discussed. A is the right answer. I tell you why B is wrong. Okay, they discussed B. Apes have the same proportion of left and right hander, uh, handers as human. Okay, now they did not, I mean, it's not the same. It's different, right? I play this again. And then apes, which uh, always use the same hand to get food are most successful, means 30% more ants they got. I play it again. Where is the smile? Come on. Matthews also reports studies of handedness in apes. Apes get a large proportion of their food by fishing ants from anthills. The studies show that apes, like humans, show handedness. Though for them, right and left handedness is about equal. Okay, for them, left and right handedness <coughs> is about equal. So more apes are left handed than right? No. The, for them, that is equal so c is not the right answer got it yeah now let's go on we go on to option b whereas about 85 percent of humans are right-handed studies showed that apes consistently using the same hand yeah uh, that 85 percent was related to option b now they are coming to options a please come to that the studies show that apes, like humans, show handedness. Though for them, right and left handedness is about equal, whereas about 85% of humans are right handed. Studies showed that. Okay, as they said, 85% humans are right handed. So apes have the same proportion of left and right handedness as humans. It's not that. So, uh, this is also the wrong answer. Now we come to question number 35. Uh, A option. Apes consistently using the same hand fished out 30% more ants than those varying between the two. Fished out 30% more ants. They eat ants. So, that is food. Uh, they are more successful. Option A. Okay. All right. Let's just go on. Now, we have questions 36 to 40. Complete the table below. Write one word and or a number. Shukkar hai, ya? 
<laughs> we have reached here. One word and or a number, 36 to 40. Okay, write one word and or a number for each answer. Uh, okay. Question number 36, hockey. Sport is hockey. Best laterality. Laterality means the same thing. Okay. So, uh, best laterality comments. Laterality means whether you use your right hand or left hand more. It's actually that. Mixed laterality. Single laterality and cross laterality. Now, look here. Uh, they may pronounce it in a different way. But anyways, mixed laterality where you use both hands equally. And it's not only hands. Both eyes. Right? Both ears. Some people, you know, whenever you want to listen to something, you do this or you do this. <laughs> okay? If you do this, it means your this ear is more sensitive than the other one. Right? So sometimes to see something, you use one, one of these eyes. So this is what they call laterality. Laterality means all the parts of the body, which one you use more. Anyways, now mixed laterality means left or right equally. Question number 36. Hockey stick has to be used in dash. Now, underline has to be used. Underline has to be used. And right there on top, must be deployed in. Preposition in is very important. Must be deployed. Deployed means use. Must be deployed in. Now, whatever they say after in, that'll be your answer. Hockey stick. Matthew started researching several different sports and found different types of handedness in each. By the way, he uses handedness to refer to the dominant side for feet and eyes as well as hands. Anyway, his team measured the hand, feet, and eyes of 2,611 players and found that there were really three main types of laterality. Mixed, you work equally well on both sides, both hand and eye. Single, you tend to favor one side, but both hand and eye favor the same side. And cross laterality, a player's hands and eyes favor only one side, but they are opposite sides. Let's start with hockey. Matthews found that it was best to be mixed-handed. This is because a hockey stick must be deployed in two directions. Only two is not the right answer. In two directions, with directions. Okay. And before that, see, they only elaborated what is mixed laterality, single laterality, cross laterality. No, one word and or a number, Pine. Two is a number. Yeah? Clear to you also? Two is a number and directions is the answer. Okay, question number 37. Uh, Mixed-handed players found to be much more dash. Now, underline much more dash is there. Much more dash than others. Okay, so let's see what do they use for much more. It would be a drawback to have hand or eye favoring one side. An interesting finding is that mixed-handed hockey players were significantly more confident than their single-handed counterparts. Significantly more confident. So for much, they use the word significantly. Significantly means very much. Okay, so the answer is confident, not even confidence. Please listen to it again. It would be a drawback to have hand or eye favoring one side. An interesting finding is that mixed-handed hockey players were significantly more confident than their single-handed counterparts. Okay, tennis is the next game. Question number 38. Gives a larger relevant field of. Now, please underline larger relevant field. Underline that. And for this, you should write bigger area of. By the way, preposition will help you. Answer will come after of. Bigger area of. Bigger area means larger relevant field. So whatever they say after bigger area of, of is same. So that will be the answer. Things are slightly different in racket sports like tennis. 
Here, the important thing is to have the dominant hand and eye on the one side. This means that there is a bigger area of vision on the side where most of the action occurs. Bigger area of vision. That's right. V I S I O N. Vision will be the right answer. Question number 39. Cross lateral players make dash too late. So they make something too late. For too late, underline too late and write there much later. Too late means much later. And uh, cross lateral players make. Focus the word make. Answer will come after make. Right? Whatever it is. If a player is cross lateral, the racket is invisible from the dominant eye for much of the swing. It means that they can only make corrections much later, and often the damage has been done by then. They can only make corrections. And for too late, they use the word much later. <coughs> Good. Last question. Gymnastics. Cross literality. Gymnasts dash. Now you can see there is apostrophe S with gymnast. Okay. So let's see what do they say about it. Sometimes this apostrophe S is replaced with off. O F off. But let's see. Gymnasts dash is important for performance. Okay, now listen, underline important for performance. And now listen, for important for performance, they might say, which is absolutely central to performance. Which is absolutely central to performance. So now let's see what is central to their performance. That will be the right answer. And moving to a rather different type of sport, which involves large but precise movements, Gymnastics. It's been found that cross hand eye favoring is best. The predominant reason for this is because it aids balance, which is, of course, absolutely central to performance in this sport. It aids balance, which is absolutely central. So, answer is balance. Very good. Okay, now you might have noticed one thing that in IELTS listening, Section by section, level of difficulty changes, the first thing. The second thing, some sections are easier than the other ones. And sometimes, uh, level of difficulty changes according to the question type. For example, if there are multiple choice questions in part four, it can be more complicated. If in part four, you have sentence completion with one word only, it's going to be comparatively easier, okay? But practice makes perfect. Expect anything. When you go to take your IELTS test, just ex expect it's going to be the toughest test there. And prepare for that. In IELTS, Cambridge IELTS books, we've got a variety. Variety of tests. Like this one we solved. This is from book number seven. Book number seven, test number two. So this is a variety. Some tests are easy. And your score will also vary. In some tests, you will take 30 correct answers. You'll be very happy. Next test, 22. Then he said, what happened? Okay, so you need to see average number of correct answers and then tally it with your required band score. If you're getting less, for example, not less than 25 correct answers and your target is six band, you are ready. If you're getting not less than 30, test is difficult or easy, you are getting minimum 30 correct answers and your target band is seven in listening, you are ready for that. Okay, all the best. Thank you. Okay, guys, now we've got section four, questions 31 to 40, questions 31 to 35. Complete the sentences below. Write no more than two words and or a number. Well, listen, section four is always a lecture. IELTS listening part four is always a lecture. Part one is dialogue. Part two is when one person talks. Part three is a tutorial where up to three, four people talk. Like one, two, three, or sometimes four. And part four is a lecture because most of you are going to go to a foreign country to study. So they're going to give you this training and they want to check your ability, whether you can attend the lecture or not. So in part four, most of the time it's one word only. But sometimes it can be multiple choice questions. Or otherwise, it can be sentence completion like that with no more than two words or 
three words. So let's see. Complete the sentences below. Uh, write no more than two words and or a number. Now remember, no more than two means maximum two and minimum one. Household waste recycling. What's the topic of the lecture? Household waste recycling. So the whole lecture is about household waste recycling. Question number 31. By 2008, carbon dioxide emissions need to be dashed lower than in 1990. Right? Now see, 2008, carbon dioxide emissions need to be dash lower than in 1990 it can be something like percentage or yeah it can be need to be much lower than in 1990 or anything like that now i play the audio please section listen and four answer. you will hear a student giving a presentation about a project on household waste recycling well, my group has been doing a project on how household waste is recycled in Britain. Uh, we were quite shocked to discover that only 9% of people here in the UK make an effort to recycle their household waste. This is a lower figure than in most other European countries and needs to increase dramatically in the next few years if the government is going to meet its recycling targets. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008 we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. 12.5% compared with 1990. We must reduce. So need to be 12.5% then in 1990. So what is the answer? 12.5%. Now you can write percentage mark or you can write PER. C E N T. Please listen to this one again. Section 4. You discover that only 9% of people here in the UK make an effort to recycle their household waste. This is a lower figure than in most other European countries and needs to increase dramatically in the next few years if the government is going to meet its recycling targets. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008 we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5%. We must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5%. So carbon dioxide emissions need to be 12.5%. Let's go on. Question number 32. Recycling saves energy and reduces emission. Emission means akhraj. From landfill sites and... Do you know the landfill sites? Where they dump the waste, where they dump the garbage, right? So that is called landfill sites. So recycling saves energy and reduces, uh, from, uh, reduces emission from landfill sites and dash. Now answer will come with landfill sites. And recycling can help to achieve that goal in two main ways. The production of recycled glass and paper uses much less energy than producing them from virgin materials. And also, recycling reduces greenhouse gas emissions from landfill sites and incineration plants. And incineration. Now, you got to write the spelling. And by the way, if you come up with a word which is unusual, let me tell you the first thing. Now, in IELTS listening, they will not give you any unusual word like this because it's listening test. It's not your writing test or spelling test and all that. So they will not give you any word. But anyways, the word is incineration. In -c -n -e -r -a -t -i -o -n. I-N-C-I-N-E, like generation. N-E-R-A-T-I-O-N. And then there is the word plants. Okay, and by the way, hurriedly, you can write incineration in any way. And later on, you can just focus incineration. Like, you know, cine from cine star and all that. In, you know, it's a preposition. And ration from generation. So like this, you can pick up the spelling of the word. Okay, question number 33. People say that one problem is lack of dash sites for household waste. Lack of dash sites. 
the name of sites, the type of sites. As part of our project, we carried out a survey of people in the street. And the thing that came up over and over again is that people don't think it's easy enough to recycle their waste. One problem is that there aren't enough drop-off sites. That is, the places where the public are supposed to take their waste. There aren't enough drop-off sites. Drop-off. D-R-O-P-O-F-F. Exactly. Drop-off sites. Okay. Question number 34. Glass designed to be utilized for dash cannot be recycled with other types of glass. Now listen, utilized for means purpose of that. For example, glass designed to be utilized for drinks. You know the glass bottles, right? So glass designed to be utilized for dash cannot be recycled with other types of glass. We also discovered that waste that's collected from householders is taken to places called bring banks for sorting and bailing into loads. One problem here is taking out everything that shouldn't have been placed in the recycling containers. People put all sorts of things into bottle banks, like plastic bags and even broken umbrellas. All this has to be removed by hand. Another difficulty is that toughened glass used for cooking doesn't fully melt at the temperature required for other glass, and so that also has to be picked out by hand. Used for? Now, what is the word for utilized? Used. Used and utilized, they are the synonyms. And answer is cooking. Good. In the UK, dash tons of glass. Answer is going to be a number. Absolutely. In the UK, dash tons of glass is recycled each year. Glass is easy to recycle because it can be reused over and over again without becoming weaker. Two million tons of glass is thrown away each year. That is, seven billion bottles and jars. So, answer has not come yet. <laughs> okay? So, it's not that whatever you hear, uh, two billion, huh? It's not that. What is the question? In the UK... Dash tons of glass is recycled. They said this much glass is wasted. Now listen again for recycled. Huh? Glass is easy to recycle because it can be reused over and over again without becoming weaker. Two million tons of glass is thrown away each year. That is seven billion bottles and jars. But only 500,000 tons of that is collected and recycled. 500,000 tons is collected and recycled. Now, how will you write 500,000? 5, double zero, triple zero. One option is this. Second option, 500 and then 1,000. T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. Both phase, it's right. Clear? Okay. Okay. Questions 36 to 40. Complete the table below. Write no more than two words for each answer. By the way, you know, it's very easy for me to select an easy test. Teach you very well on that. And you're very happy. <laughs> IELTS listening is so easy. Sir taught us very well. I select the tests randomly with a variety of questions so that you know if IELTS is going to be difficult, this can be the level of difficulty, right? So if you prepare for difficult tests and by chance the test is easier, you'll get very good band score. And if you prepare for difficult test and the test is difficult, still you will get a reasonable band score. So when I select the test, I don't see whether it is easy or difficult. I just see there should be a variety of questions and the questions that are very common in IELTS. Anyways, complete the table below. Write no more than two words for each answer. Companies working with recycled material. So they are talking about material, company and product that the company manufactures very simple is there any question in material no is there any question in company all the questions are in product that the company manufactures so question number 36 first they will talk about glass clf aggregates when this is clf aggregates you got to be alert because after that the answer will come Material used for making. 
for making they can use the word creating for making they can use the word in the construction of for making they can use the word to make to build any word that is so just you got to see what is it that the company makes or creates yeah oddly enough half the glass that's collected is green and a lot of that is imported so more green glass is recycled than the uk needs as a result, new uses are being developed for recycled glass, particularly green glass. For example, in fiberglass manufacture and water filtration. A company called CLF Aggregates makes a product for roads, and 30% of the material is crushed glass. Makes products for roads, R-O-D-S. Now you need to pick up their accent, roads, roads. What is roads? Road, <coughs> right? Roads, R-O-A-D-S, means sadak, exactly. Some people can't even say sadak. They say sadak, chiriya, gora. Yeah, all right, what a pity. And then, you know, such type of people, wo wife ka naam bhi re kahi a jai, to phir wo bhi nika jata, huh? Anyways, let's go on. Paper... Martin's office stationery. Now, now they're talking about paper to be recycled, okay? And Martin's uh, office stationery they make. The next company is Paper Safe. Dash for use on farms. What is it that they create which is used in farm? What is farm? Farmhouse, right? So they create something which is used in farm and that is built out of paper, absolutely. For recycling paper, Britain comes second in Europe with 40%, behind Germany's amazing 70%. When recycling started, there were quality problems, so it was difficult to use recycled paper in office printers, but these problems have now been solved. And Martins, based in South London, produces a range of office stationery which is 100% recycled. Costs the same as normal paper and is of equally high quality. But this high quality comes at a cost in terms of the waste produced during the process. Over a third of the waste paper that comes in can't be used in the recycled paper, leaving the question of what to do with it. One firm, PaperSave, currently sells this to farmers as a soil conditioner though this practice will soon be banned Sells because of transport costs and the smell. Sells it to farmers as a soil conditioner. So what is the word for farmers? Use on farms. Right? Use on farms and sells it to farmer as a soil conditioner. Answer is soil conditioner. Okay. Uh, plastic practice is the name of the company. Question number 38. Dash for collecting waste. Now, what is it that they make for collecting waste? For example, dustbin for collecting waste, something like that. They've already mentioned the company manufactures on top. Plastic causes problems because there are so many different types of plastic in use today, and each one has to be dealt with differently. Packrite recycles all sorts of things, from bottles to car bumpers, and one of its most successful activities is recycling plastic bottles to make containers which are used all over the country to collect waste. Containers which are used all over the country to collect waste. Answer is containers. Very good. Okay, Waterford is a company and there is nothing. Question number 39. What, what does it mean? What is it that this company manufactures or makes? And then question number 40, Johnson and Johns, what is it that they make? I'm going to play these two audios together. Uh, Waterford, whatever it makes, and Johnson and Johns, whatever they make. The Save a Cup scheme was set up by the vending and plastics industries to recycle as many as possible of the 3.5 billion polystyrene cups used each year. At the moment, 500 million polycups are collected, processed, and sold on to other businesses such as Waterford, which turns the cups into pencils, and Johnson & Jones, a Welch-based firm, 
which has developed a wide variety of items, including business cards. 39 is... 39 is pencils and 40 is business cards, like you say visiting card. Please listen to it again, then we finish. The Save a Cup scheme was set up by the vending and plastics industries to recycle as many as possible of the three and a half billion polystyrene cups used each year. At the moment, 500 million poly cups are collected, processed, and sold on to other businesses such as Waterford, which turns the cups into pencils, and Johnson and & Jones, a Welch-based firm, which has developed a wide variety of items, including business cards. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, now we have part four, IELTS listening, questions 31 to 40. Complete the notes below. Write one word and or a number for each answer. So this time it's one word and or a number. Part one and part four, they have one thing in common that usually you get the same type of questions. Now in part four, audio is a lecture and there will be one person talking. In part one, there is a dialogue. Two people talk. There are always two people. In part two, sometimes it's only one person who is talking. In part three, again, it's a dialogue, but there are sometimes two, three, or up to four people, right? And in part four, there is always one person. They call it part of a lecture. It means complete lecture, and they take out five to ten minutes, or five to six minutes part. So uh, here, it's all about here. Touch your hair. Yeah, it's style Okay, chamki le baal. Here, facts about here. Okay, facts about here. They're going to give us some facts about here, right? Now, question number 31. Main purposes, warmth and dash. For main purposes, they might say there are two reasons why we have here. Two reasons means two main purposes. One is warmth. For warmth, they can use the word to keep our bodies warm. And for and, they can use the other is for. The other is for. For and, they can use anything. The other is for. As well as and like that. Now just listen carefully. Two purposes of here. One is warmth and second. You will hear a lecture about hair. Good morning and welcome to this lecture on hair, which is a part of the human biology course. This lecture covers a number of facts about hair, its structure, and what can affect the general health of hair. So, first of all, what is hair, and why do we have it? If we look back at our ancestors, we'll see that they had a lot more hair on their bodies than we do now. And there are, or were, two main reasons for having hair. One is to provide warmth. But as humans have worn clothes for many years, body hair has significantly reduced. The other is for protection. The other is for protection. Now notice for and they said the other is for. Protection is the right answer. Okay, with the right spelling. Question number 32. Main component keratin. You know some people get keratin treatment for the hair and all that. Main component keratin makes fingernails. Now keratin, you know one thing surprising, your fingernails and your hair, they are made of keratin. So keratin makes fingernails dash. Now listen, for fingernails, first they will use fingernails, then they will use them. Fingernails, and then for fingernails, they will use the word them. So whatever they say with them, that will be the answer. This is called referencing, right? Let's see. Something related to fingernails. To make our fingernails dash. To make them dash. Now hair, whatever it is for, and wherever it is on the human body is composed mainly of a protein called keratin. This, by the way, is also found in fingernails. In fact, it's keratin which makes them flexible, and without it, they would be very rigid. See that? It's keratin that makes them flexible. Them means 
fingernails. Flexible is the right answer with correct spelling. Okay. F L E X E X I B L E. Flexible. Okay. Good job. Let's go on. Question number 33. Full head of hair. Full head of hair means like Pura Sar Baluka. A uh, full head of hair can support a large weight. Now they will talk about large weight equal to two dash. Now equal to two, they're going to use unusual way of uh, weighing something. For example, if they say equal to two cows, for example, equal to two cows, equal to two buffaloes, but you don't have to try. <laughs> okay? Don't do that. So, equal to two. Now, listen. Underline the word two and write there, couple of. Sorry. Yeah? Yeah, this is the other couple. Couple means two. Yeah. Exactly. So, full head of hair can support a large weight equal to two, whatever they say after couple. And remember, after couple answer must be plural. If you write singular answer, wrong, absolutely wrong, okay? So let's see what is that. You'll be surprised to learn. Another this. interesting fact about hair is that it is very strong. As strong as iron, in fact. One single strand can support a weight of up to 100 grams. This may not sound all that much, but a full head of hair can support up to 12 tons, which is the equivalent of a couple of elephants, which is simply amazing. Equivalent Though I advise you not to put this to the elephants. test. <laughs> so, yeah, if you have two you can take it. Okay? All right. So, the answer is going to be elephants. How do you spell elephants? P H A or E? A. Absolutely. Right? So, again, I tell you, your spelling must be correct. If you write the wrong spelling, elephant to mil gaya, elephant ke spelling nahi aaye, to kya karenge? Okay, let's go on. The next one is average number of strands of hair for an adult. Very simple. Kya aapke sar pe kitne baal hai? There are two options. Either you can find the answer from the audio or you can count your hair. Okay? <laughs> then you can write your answer. So average number of strands of hair. This is one strand of hair. Ek baal, strand of hair on human body. So let's see, it's going to be a number. Humans lose up to 100 strands of hair a day. Mm. But we do have quite a lot of hair to start with. There's some variation depending on hair color, but for an average adult, the strand count is 100,000. So losing 100 a day is not too bad. Although this is the average, people with red hair have around 80,000 strands, black or brown hair 100,000, and blondes have about 120,000. Okay, now average is 100,000, but then he said people with black hair, people with blonde hair, and all that. So average is 100,000. Now listen, how to write 100,000? The easiest way is 100000. Triple zero. Or if you want to write it otherwise, you can write one double zero and T H O U S A N D thousand. You can write it like that as well. Hundred thousand. Okay? But don't write one lakh. There's no word in English like lakh. It's hundred thousand. Okay? Hundred thousand. Okay, let's go on. Question number thirty five. Large amount of money spent on dash for here. Guess. Treatment, spend on treatment for here in the UK or any other word like that. So, large amount of money. Uh, okay, underline the word large amount. For large amount, they can use the word fortune. Fortune means large amount. For example, someone buys iPhone and he says, this iPhone cost me a fortune. This iPhone cost me a fortune means I spent a large amount on that. So large amount is spent on something which is related to hair. So, hair used to be important for the reasons I mentioned earlier. But nowadays, I'd say the main importance of hair is the fact that it is big business. 
Apart from the money involved in haircutting, shaving, trimming, etc., a fortune is spent just on hair products. In the UK alone... A fortune is spent just on hair products. So the answer is products. Now, have you noticed one thing? Hair products, that means products for hair. Okay, hair products, products for hair. Okay, let's go on. Structure of hair. Now, they're going to tell us about the structure. If you understand deeply, ek baal tod ke haath mein pakar le. <laughs> Okay, structure of hair. Three main parts. Uh, uh, part A, bulb, like a. The first part of the hair is called bulb, like a. Now, underline like a. For like a, uh, they might use acts like a, uh, or resembles like a, uh, or seems like a, uh, or shows like a, uh, looks like a, uh, anything like that, okay? And a uh, means answer is going to be singular. Over end of here, follicle. Let's see. So next, I'd like to just give you a quick overview of the structure of hair. As you can see, Along the length of the hair, there are three main parts, called the bulb, the root, and the shaft. A single hair is fixed at one end, below the skin, in the bulb. The bulb acts rather like a cap. It encloses the end of the hair. Rather like a cap. So, answer is cap. All right. C-A-P, cap, O-P, cap. English, you know, cap, cap, uh, yeah, you see, water, I want to drink water, say, what is water, water, uh, okay, yeah, all right, let's go on, <laughs> question number 37, root, second part of hair, contains glands that supply, glands supply something, for example, glands that supply blood, Glands that supply something. So they supply something. And by the way, underline the word supply. And write there, these produce. These produce. What do they mean by these? Glands. Glands absolutely. Referencing. These produce dash. Okay. They, they might say that in the root, there are some glands. And these produce dash. That will be your answer. Question number 37. The next part of the hair is the root, and this is the part of the hair which lies just beneath the skin, and in terms of hair production, is the most important. This can be considered the control center for each strand of hair, and is where the glands are found. These produce oil, which flows along the length of the hair. These produce oil, exactly. These produce means glands produce or glands supply. Simple, supply and produce, same words. Question number 38, shaft. It's the last part of the hair, shaft, not dash. Now, for not, they can use this is not, and then they will say something, right? This is not. The last part is the shaft and this is the hair which is above the skin and is of course what we can see fortunately this is not active and i say fortunately because otherwise it would be very painful to have your hair cut it is not active otherwise it would be very painful to have your hair <laughs> you know they're cutting your hair and you're just like that so it is not active. This is not active. For shaft, again, they use the word this. This is not active, right? Okay, all right. Thank you. So I dedicate this joke to Mr. Yasin. Ek dafa ek aurat thi. Uske sar pe teen baal thi. Ginti ke. Kitne? Teen baal. To wo gai jnaab hairdresser ke paas, beauty parlor, ke mene function pe jana hai, to mera achha sa koi style bana de. तो ब्यूटी पार्लर वाली बड़ा हैरान हुई फिर भी उसने कहा चलें कस्टमर खाली ना जाए उसने जैसे ही कंगी उठाई तो तीन में से एक बाल टूट गया वो औरत तो जनाब गाली गलोच शुरू कर दी कि तुम्हारा सत्यानाश हो जाए मेरे तीन बाल थे उसमें से तुमने कंगी लगा के एक गिरा दिया अब दो बाल रह गए अब जल्दी से इसका कोई अच्छा सा स्टाइल बना दो मैंने फंक्शन में जाना है उसने दोबारा कंगी उठा के बालों को लगाई स्टाइल बनाने के लिए एक बाल और टूट गया 
ਉਸਨੇ ਕਹਾ ਤੂੰ ਰਹਿ ਰਹੀ ਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਨਾਲੀ ਚਲੀ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਓਕੇ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਲੈਟਸ ਸੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ 39 ਟੂ 40 ਕੰਪਲੀਟ ਦ ਸਮਰੀ ਬਿਲੋ ਰਾਈਟ ਵਨ ਵਰਡ ਓਨਲੀ ਫॉर ਈਚ ਆਨਸਰ ਹੈਲਥ ਐਂਡ ਹੇਅਰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ 39 changes in diet very important thing you are learning about here isko apply kijiyega changes in diet will take longer to affect your hair than your dash now listen your hair than your dash means it's the part of body it can be your hair than your nails your hair than your any other part of body okay so it's human part of body and finally i just like to go over a few factors that impact on the overall health of hair like every other part of the body our diet that is what we eat is extremely important to the condition of our hair but whereas a change in your diet to for example eating unhealthy foods will soon be noticeable in your skin changes to your hair will take a lot longer A change in diet today could take several months to have an effect on your hair. Skin, it will be noticeable to your skin. So whatever you eat or drink, it will be shown on your skin sooner and on your hair it will take months. I'll play this one again. And finally, I just like to go over a few factors that impact on the overall health of hair. Like every other part of the body, our diet that is what we eat is extremely important to the condition of our hair but whereas a change in your diet to for example eating unhealthy foods will soon be noticeable in your skin will soon be noticeable in your skin means changes in diet will take longer to affect on your hair but soon be noticeable on your skin changes to your hair will take a lot longer Okay, question number 40. Uh vitamins C, D and E are all important for healthy hair and dash are one of the best sources of vitamin C. Dash are answer is plural. It can be a fruit. For example, oranges are one of the best sources of vitamin C. So the best source of vitamin C and answer is going to be in plural, right? It's only vitamin C. And so what is the key to healthy hair? Well, eating a balanced diet is the most important thing. There are a number of vitamins that are vital for good hair health. The main ones being vitamins C, D, and E. And in a balanced diet, all these vitamins should be readily available. If you need a boost of vitamin C, for example, One of the best things to eat are blueberries. For vitamin D. One of the best thing to eat is blueberries. Blue berries. Yeah, plural. Blueberries. Blueberries are same like strawberry, raspberry, blueberry. Blue and berry. How do you spell berry? B E R R I E S. It's E, not A. B E R R I E S blueberries. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Very good question. Blueberries. Now, option is one word only. So whenever we have one word only, don't write blueberries. Write it together as one word or you can write hyphen. Blue dash berries. So all the hyphenated words are one word. Right? Blueberries will be the answer. Okay.